What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about more CP slottable options. A lot of people in the community want this to change and have a higher number of CP slottables than just four. I'm not sure if this will ever happen. Zoss has stated they like the state of how CP 2.0 is working. Now, of course, they're going to continue to adjust the values and things to kind of balance it out. But they're not really, you know, saying they want to add more slottables to this. They're wanting you to choose exactly how you want your class to play by having these slottable options. And if they give you options to have everything, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the new CP 2.0. Now, I know not everyone's a fan of it. Some players like the older model better. Personally for me, and of course this is personal preference, I don't mind the CP 2.0 at all. I think it's a pretty good system in my opinion. But I do get what, where players are coming from when they say they want to have more options. I just, like I said, I don't think Zoss is going to do it anytime soon. For the main reason would be that you have to rebalance everything in that CP tree. I mean, some players are just saying, you know, they like to have the option to have five slottables, you know, in green, blue, or red. Now, when it comes to the green tree, I already made a video about this a while back. I think the green tree just probably needs to be passive. I don't understand why there's slottables there, honestly. But when it comes to the blue and red tree, a lot of players just feel like, you know, four is not enough. And people, like I said, have been suggesting five. People have been suggesting seven to nine uh, slottables. And even if we just went with five slottables, if they just added one more per tree, the entire CP system is going to have to be rebalanced again. And in theory, that's going to make you a bit weaker. Uh, or, you know, it's going to have to kind of thin those numbers down for everything. You're not going to get as high values as you do right now from your CP options because it's going to have to be rebalanced if you add another CP slottable, you know, kind of available to you. Now, like I said, Zoss may do something in the future. Zoss may look at this and decide, you know, they want to add more to it. They may want to do something if they, you know, change CP later down the road and it goes to a higher value yet again. I'm not sure about the future, you know, years down the road, but I don't think anytime soon that this is going to happen. I think they're going to leave it like it is. But I, like I said, I do understand the community's frustration and kind of, you know, questioning of why it's only four. Um, I do get that, but at the same time, I just don't know how they would get it to work correctly without having to rebalance everything. And like I said, drop the values of some of the things we have as options right now within the CP tree itself. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. There's some great stuff down there from Amazon Associates that I use every day in life and in gaming. So some of you guys might be interested in some of that stuff. So give it a look and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.